Hey everyone, my name is Owen and I want to welcome you to this video for five tips for house sharing. Um, having lived twice now with different people, I want to share my experiences. So the first tip is to try and accept and respect and love people exactly the way they are. This is probably the most important thing. So accept, respect and love people for exactly the way they are at this moment and overall in life. So number two, everyone is very different in life. We all have different background, we all have different upbringing, we come from sometimes different cultures, different countries, or even different cities in the same country. So everyone's different, we, have different, we come from different families. So you can't expect people to see the world your way or do the things that you do, or do things in the, in the same schedule or timing as you. And when they don't, we need to be careful that we don't judge them or misinterpret them as doing something or being something that they are not. So this comes to understanding. This means that understanding is key. We need to, we need to take off our blinkers of previous cultural or programmed perception and to be open to see the world through a different set of eyes. It could be the opposite sex, they, the opposite sex to whoever, whatever sex we are, we generally have a different set of eyes. And of course, it's an individual thing, so people within the same sex, of course, have different perceptions. So we need to be willing to be malleable, flexible, to reshape and remould our perception and the way we see things and the way we view things. We need to be willing to be a student and to learn to have a beginner's mind, otherwise we're fixed, we're solid, we're rigid and we're just going to fall over and it's going to be an argument. So, number three, you need to respect other people's time time zones or times. Some people are early, early birds and some people are, are night owls. We have the right to go to bed when we want to go to bed and so does everybody else. But people, we have to be careful we don't be really noisy and interfere with people from our sleeping hours. Similarly, if we're sharing a room with somebody, we may have the right to go to bed generally when we want to, but they have the right to sleep. And we do not have the right to be rum like making loads of noise in the room or hanging around the room when people want to sleep. The right to sleep and to sleep in peace is a fundamental right. Um, if we want to do things, we can do them elsewhere outside of the room. So this can apply especially to people in relationships and people are where they're not sure the rules. Number four, it's really important to try to do equal amounts of household jobs. Otherwise, resentment and frustration will build up. So men, women. Men of men of like people of the same sex, women, etc. We all have different strengths and weaknesses, so this is another really important thing to, uh, to understand. As I was saying earlier, so some people we won't do the exact same jobs, but it's good to try and strike a balance and to do in around approximate t amount of errands or jobs or household work, cleaning, vacuuming, tidying, tidying, and um, ra arranging. Cleaning the sink is very important. If it's a, the, the shared spaces that are most shared are the most important to have clean and tidy, and to show respect and love to the to the places, it's not exactly respectful or loving to be leaving the place dirty after yourself or leaving things like dishes and clothes and breadcrumbs or fruit skins or dirty pots hanging around the place. It's ideal, in my opinion, generally, to try and clean up after yourself, and that includes cleaning the cooker, wiping down the kitchen, and um, just generally best not to leave things hanging around in public spaces, especially if there's many people in the house. But you've got to be flexible too, and don't be too harsh or judgmental on people. And if you need to talk, try not to talk in a critical fashion, but in a supportive, constructive fashion talking about what you would like rather than 
rather than focusing on the problem, try and focus more on the solution, but you're still allowed to talk about the problem. That's a new age spiritual misconception, as if you can never talk about the problem. Identify the problem and you can talk about it briefly, but then quickly focus the, the feel-good factor of having a solution and achieving the results that you want. So That's how that works. Um, next point. We'll call it number five. And, um, <laughs> um, It's nice to talk to people and express an interest in them. So even if you're not a chatterbox, um, it's still nice to sometimes ask people about what you know about them in life, like about their family, their, their brothers and sisters, inquire about them, express an interest. This helps develop a connection. And even if you don't have too much in common with them, you can always ask them how is their mom or how is their brother or sister or do they have any plans for today or are they doing that thing, or how is that thing going that you were talking about the last time? So it's good to care and to express interest and care. So that's that point. It'll help people like connect with you, and they'll like you more, and you'll be able to have a you you maybe have a laugh more even or whatever. The next thing, another thing I'll just mention is that some people are introverts and some people are extroverts. So. Introverts like their own space a lot, and they're less, far less talkative. This doesn't mean that they're antisocial or rude, as many extroverts misinterpret introverts to be. Around 70% of the population is extroverted, or more extroverted. It's a scale, so it's not just one or the other. It's a scale, we're all a different scale. And some people are, 30% of the population is introverted. So introverts are generally very misunderstood. So extroverts like to talk a lot more and socialize a lot more. So just be aware of more or less which one you are. We all have different tendencies. We're a mixture of both. <laughs> so again, as I said earlier, a lot of everything's about understanding and the other part is really about living from your heart and having care and compassion. And the other part is being able to speak up so if things just aren't going the way you want and things are unfair or like something bad things are happening so, so to speak loosely speaking bad things one other tip for house sharing is to to give people credit where credit is due the occasional compliment or encouragement even the occasional little small little gift even if it's a bit of food or some tea or to share some food, or to buy a little something, something very small, even whatever. Um, it keeps things fresh. It's like buying flowers for your partner, your, your girlfriend. <laughs> or it's very good to buy little surprises for you if you're in a relationship too. It really keeps things, ex excitement in the relationship, and a sense of just excitement and freshness, really, to be honest. And that's very, very important in relationships. Another thing is to respect the boundaries of people. So be conscientious of um, imposing yourself or overcrowding people in people's space. So you want to give people space, especially in the morning. Don't be pouncing on them. And look after yourself is very important. Self-love, to nurture yourself and to be happy in life. And to care for people if you see that they might be a bit down or depressed. Just be a bit more sensitive and compassionate towards these people. And look after yourself, as I said, and be happy in life, get happy, nurture your spirit, your health, your body and your mind with healthy things that uplift and empower you. And share good news with others and also news and information if necessary to help inspire and empower and to healthify other people. So one last thing to say, and this applies to also to children, to mothers or just general house sharers, and that is take initiative, be attentive look out watch out see what needs to be done see what things are lacking or need to be done what chores errands and tasks take initiative don't be babied and expect others to look after you it could be if to help to, like if you're a child like do things like clean the floor or anyone clean the floor clean the boards put away the dishes dry the dishes put them away clean the cooker um do shopping for things from the for the bathroom or for, for like cleaning things for the kitchen or whatever. Um, if you have a fire, take up the ashes or look after things. Like just show some sort of initiative. 
don't be like babied and looking being looking looked after for everything contribute and show initiative where you don't have to be asked but you're on the lookout you don't need to be told what to do everything this means the world to people people nobody wants to be taking on the load of responsibility for another person who's well able to do things this is called empowerment or disempowerment if we are enable or disenabling if we do things that we, other people are well able to do we are actually enabling them to be helpless we're disabling them to be powerful in their own right so that's another thing but overall in life you don't want to be disabling people from like being strong and blossoming we want to allow them to do things that they can do perfectly well and to let them grow in that and become more better and an expert so this is actually one of the most important points because otherwise you're like helpless people hanging around not contributing and this sucks generally speaking <laughs> So, it's a beautiful day here in Ireland, isn't it? It's very, very nice. It's actually very early and I'm actually careful to making this video in a place where I don't wake up my housemates. And I check to make sure the windows are closed nearby, if the case, so no one can hear me. Because <laughs> it's like 7 in the morning. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And my sincere hope and wish and intention is that it helps you if you're house sharing. Because soon I'll be going off to the Caribbean and you can see my videos there. It's a lovely, lush Caribbean, turquoise, crystal clear waters. I deserve it after a very long winter here in Ireland. <laughs> and I love the birds. Each day I climb up this tree, almost every single day. <laughs> and I rebound and these two rebounders and that's what I've already done this morning so I'll leave you and love you send you best wishes for your day ahead and I hope this brings you peace and harmony in your relationships and another very good relationship tip is to say sorry and thank you a lot that is humongous and to pay people compliments to praise compliments say thank you and sorry if you need to be say sorry thank you and compliments are just so good to feel appreciated is important and people really is touched by that. So I'll, I'll see you again in another video. Take care, lots of love. This is Own Fox here. Bye now. So. Hmm.